uh, Bridget. Learning using a pen and paper guarantees memorization. Uh, Bridget is on sensor to uh, great information, right? Pen and paper, right? Write things down, draw things, flow charts, maps, stand there. I can't, I can't tell you how many hours I've spent standing in front of this map over the last, you know, I bought it, let's say 24 years ago, right? 22 years ago something like that 22 years ago right i've had this map uh for the last in that time it's been on my wall let's say for about 12 years of that right so for 22 years uh, i've had this map and this map has been on, on my wall for about 12 years 10 to 12 years right because i've done different moves and in that time i can't tell you how many hours i've stood in front of this map right and look things up and if some kind of event was happening i was looking at that region going oh that's there that's there that's going on there and knowing some of the history i know i would say oh these people are supporting it here why are they supporting it here because of that. so for example france just got kicked out of niger and mali right france just got kicked out of niger and mali right for multiple reasons now check this out i still have this map up doink you take you, you take a look at this and you realize that Nigeria was an experimental ground for central banks wanting to introduce central digital currencies, right? Uh, central bank digital currencies. And they bribed the governments, the government of Niger, uh, Nigeria to introduce the central bank digital currency, guaranteeing them that they're gonna build a pipeline going from Nigeria all the way through Niger, going to Algeria, feeding Europe. This was planned at the same time that they were cutting the energy, cheap energy coming from Russia because they thought they could get another cheap energy source coming from Nigeria, right? In addition to the cheap energy coming from Azerbaijan going through Turkey, going up there, right? In addition to the gas parse field that they decided that they wanted the uh, the gas field to go through uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, Turkey, possibly going through Syria, all through Israel to feed Europe. So they had planned on waging war on Russia to break break apart Russia, balkanize Russia, because they had contingency plans to have cheap oil still feed into Europe, right? Dumbasses, dumbasses, right? They cut off their energy it's like counting the eggs before the chickens the the chickens before the eggs hatch and stuff they cut off their energy from russia this gas field is not coming from pars this gas field is not happening they're left with gas coming in from united states which is like three five times uh more expensive than russia and they're buying their gas from india which is really russian gas being processed to there so europe is fucked Right. Europe is fucked. How do I know all this? Well, I wrote an article about the gas parse field, about the pipelines here in 2009, because that's when the shit was really hitting the fan, and when Obama went in there in 2012, because Syria told them, no, they're going to stay with the Shiite crescent, and they're going to go with the gas pipeline going from the parse gas field through Iran, through Iraq, to Syria, to Turkey, to lebanon and then feeding europe israel got pissed saudi arabia got pissed united states got pissed western europe got pissed because they're all lackeys of israel right so obama invades bombs the shit out of syria assad moscow and why the united states still occupying a third of syria right you can't learn all that in one sitting you can't learn all that in one sitting and you need a visual to be able to appreciate what's going on so use visuals as your as a tool right uh to learn things so that's an sort of a uh me seconding what bridget said which is learning using pen and paper guarantees memorization and it's not i wouldn't say necessarily memorization but understanding of what's going on the game at play understanding of it right 